Hey YouTube, welcome to another video game collection video. Today's episode, Spyro the Dragon. This game came out in 1998, same year as Crash Bandicoot Warped. For my birthday, my parents got me this Crash Warped PlayStation in a bundle from Sam's Club, and it was great. Great birthday. Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. This game improved on everything from the first game. It was fantastic. I loved it. Platformer's Dream. Everything about it was great. It had fun mini games. The skateboarding mini game in this, I wish got a spin off of its own, like Spyro Skateboarding or something. I would have bought it. Holy crap. Moving on. Spyro 3, Year of the Dragon. For some reason, they decided to remove the numbers. I know in Japan they kept the number. Pretty sure, anyway. But yeah, this was the end of the Insomniac Trilogy. It wasn't as fun as the first two, I don't think. It didn't really add more, except for these characters. Uh, Sergeant Bird, Sheila Bentley, and Agent Nine, I believe his name was. I haven't played this game since it came out in 2000, so... Ten years ago. Holy crap. It was fun, but not as fun as the first two. Collecting all the eggs and stuff, it was... It was tedious. First game of not Insomniac, Enter the Dragonfly. I originally had this on PS2, but holy shit, there were so many glitches on it. I kept falling through levels and dying, and I'm a perfectionist when it comes to video games. I like to 100% them, and I just couldn't do it because the game kept screwing everything up, and I eventually traded in, got this one, beat it, it had no glitches. It was a decent game, nothing up to the standards of the Insomniacs, but it was still a lot of fun. Spyro, A Hero's Tale. Now this game, this game was amazing. I think it did even better than the original trilogy. I'd say this is on par with Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. And people who don't play it because it's not made by Insomniac, you're idiots because this is a fantastic game. I had so much fun playing this game. Holy shit. Now the handheld series. Let's see what we got here. Spyro. Sorry. Can't get a good focus. Season of Ice. It was the first handheld game. It was okay at best. Spyro 2, Season of Flame. You had to get... Why isn't it focusing? You had to get Fireflies. That was a collectible in that game. Then once again, they decided to remove the number. Spyro, Attack of the Rhinox. Spyro 3, Attack of the Rhinox. And then here we go, Crash Purple and Spyro Orange. Spyro didn't star in this one. Crash did in the Spyro universe, and vice versa. Spyro starred in this one in the Crash universe. They were, they were okay games. I w wouldn't really recommend them unless you're hardcore fans. And then the last game in the original classic series taking place after a hero's tale Spyro Shadow Legacy and it ended on a cliffhanger and then they started a new franchise and just left it at a cliffhanger and wow what the hell this game it was okay nothing extravagant but it was the last in the series so I had to get it now we have the Legend of Spyro A New Beginning. I was not a fan of this game at all. It didn't even feel like Spyro. It felt like a fighting game with a Spyro palette just thrown on top of it to get sales. A lot of people were like, oh, it's so great, it's so great. I didn't like it. But I got it. It's just, you know, just like Enter the Dragonfly. You gotta try it out. You can't just say you hate it without even trying. So I got this played it, beat it a hundred percent, didn't like it. But oh look, I, I got the sequel. 
I got the sequel because it was in the bargain bin. I think I got it for five dollars. The Eternal Light. It didn't. Or I still didn't like the series, but I decided after this one that I was not going to continue. I didn't get any of the Game Boy Advance or DS versions of these games, and this was the last one I bought. And there's a third one out. I don't even remember the name of it because I just don't care. There's rumors that a new Spyro game is coming out called Spyro Kingdom. If they go back to the classic series, that would be fantastic. You know, this game ended on a cliffhanger, so hmm, go back, finish it up, have some fun in the classic series universe. If they start a new trilogy in the Legend series, I'm just not going to buy them. So whatever. But that's that's it, everyone. Pretty sure. I guess I can show you these cool things. Here's the spiral orange case. Oh, and here's the crash purple case. And that's that's it. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, pass this video on, and have a great day. Goodbye.